I'm going to tell you one thing that happened to me when I was a young woman, then we're going to get in the Word. I don't know if I told my son about this or not. I went to a church in the country one time. The preacher and his wife picked me up. He was drinking. He had a pint of liquor on the, on the car as he was going on. I didn't think nothing about it because when I come up, all the preachers just about drank anyway. So I didn't really think anything about it. We went to church and there was a funeral going on. There was an old lady having a funeral. And then I was in the choir stand, I was playing Amazing Grace. And someone looked out and saw a man being buried out there. And say, it's a shame that we won't bring this man in church. Let's go get him and bring his body in church. They went and got that man and brought his body in church. As soon as that man's body got inside of that church and they closed the door, that church sound like an atomic bomb in that church. That church split half in two. One part was sitting in one place where I was sitting, and the other part was sitting in the other place. The door flung open. I mean, the door, you knew it was locked. The Amen. door flung open, and a whirlwind came. That man was evil, they said. He had killed people. So I know what evil people, it's a dangerous thing, the Bible said, mm -hmm. to even visit a, a wicked man's house. Mm -hmm. A curse is up on you when you go, you go into a cursed house. It is very dangerous. Wickedness is very dangerous. Amen. That's right. And I found out as I was doing my study, oh, good God Almighty, that anybody who is not saved is wicked. Amen. Anybody Amen. not saved. Amen. That's right. Right. They they ain't gonna stay. So when you witness to people, you let them know how they don't their their house is cursed. 
they'll get things and go out the window mm -hmm. because they're under curse mm -hmm. until they accept God. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's turn to Second Timothy, the third chapter. We're living in the last times. Second Timothy, the third chapter. This know also that in the last days, perilous times should come. Are we now not living in perilous times? Amen. What verse? Verse, verse 1. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covenants, boasters, proud, blasphemous, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinence, fierce, despisers of those that are good. When you're trying to live a life, a good life, the people out in the world on your job, they hate you. Yes, ma'am. They really do. They hate you because you're trying to live for the Lord. Yeah, there are some, but they're not saved. No, they're not saved. Uh, there's a lot of people in church not saved. They're playing church. They're religious, but they're not saved. So you can be religious and not be saved. You know, you can say, don't wear no short dress, don't put on no makeup, and don't put on no earrings. But that's religious. They keep people bound. That's right. Amen. Truth traitors. Can't, you, you can't depend on them. They do one thing. On your job, you notice the people that are not saved. One while they look like they're real good. They're right on your side. Mm -hmm. The next moment, they turn to a rattlesnake. Oh, so I know. You can have your back talk to you. Exactly. Yeah. That is the way the enemy is. The enemy is using right. it. Yeah. So don't, don't. When you at work, don't you think that's strange? Don't think that's strange when they don't like you because they all are gang up on you. Sure will, my they all will come against you. Amen. That's why you have to pray and keep yourself prayed up. Amen. Amen. Eddie, how mind, love of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of God. Form. Just act like an eight, they say. Amen. They get up on the TV and say, I thank God for making this record. Johnny loves Sue. Now wait a minute. <laughs> That's right. And God called me. Yeah, it was a God, but it wasn't our God. Right. Michael Jackson's not serving our God. Amen. He's serving another God. Amen. But they'll get on there and say, God. But they're right. They're right. It's not but two gods, the devil and, and, and our God. That's right. But the devil is a little G-O-D. All right. But they serve somebody. Some, you serve somebody here today. Either the, the little G-O-D or the capital G-O-D. All right. Having a form of godliness, but the hand of power thereof, for such turn away. When you see those people playing church, the Bible say turn away. Amen. First Timothy 4. Turn to 1 Timothy 4, verses 1 through 4. Now, now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter time some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Now what that means, the, the, the Satan seducing the demons out to seduce you. You go over there to that church where they don't believe that Jesus died and rose again. That's what that means. Doctrines of devils. Amen. You go to that church where they say, it, you don't really have to marry. There are churches that say that. Amen. You go to that church where homosexuals are, they say nothing wrong with being homosexuals. There are churches like that. New Age movement say free love. Amen. Just love anybody you want. Those kind of truth. Those are doctrines of devil. That's not the truth. But you'd be surprised at the young people who flock there. You'd be surprised at the people who go to those churches. Just to appease their mind. Because there's nothing there to condemn you, to make you feel sorry for what you've done. Speaking lies and hypocrisy. Having their conscience seared with a hot iron. Yeah. You keep doing things so much and so much and so much. Satan would sear your mind and, and you just don't care no more. Amen. You have seen people who just don't care what they do. That's their, right. their conscience have been seared. Amen. With a hot if you put a hot iron on something, you know what it does. It erases the that part. Burns it out. Amen. 